This is I Didn't Know I Could Do That with Office 365, Volume 1, How to Send a Flow Approval Reminder Email. My name is Scott Shearer. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and Office 2016 Specialist Master. Our scenario is this. Users submit requests to a SharePoint list. Once the list item is created, a Microsoft Flow Approval starts. We hope that the approvers take action on their requests in a timely fashion, but occasionally they don't. And in those situations, we would like to send out a reminder email. Obviously, if they do respond to the request in a timely fashion, the email should not go out. Let's start by taking a look at the approval flow we are already using. As you can see, we respond to a new item being created in a SharePoint list. We then get the manager of the individual who created the SharePoint list item. We use that manager in our start and approval action. After the approver has rejected or approved the item, we respond to that by updating the SharePoint list item and sending out an email indicating that the request has either been approved or rejected. If the approver does not respond to the approval request in a timely fashion, we would like to send an email reminder to the approver saying that there is an approval pending, please take action on it. The first step in adding our reminder email is this. We are going to come right above the approval action and we are going to add a parallel branch, add an action, and the action we will want will be a delay. I'll search for delay and I want scheduled delay. Now this is a parallel branch. This approval will be running at the same time as our delay. As you can see I can set a delay for a certain time period be it minutes, days, etc. In our example we'll set this to one day. After one day, what I would like to do is this. I would like to send an email. I'll select Office 365 Outlook, send an email. Who do I want to send this to? As you can see, I could send it to the manager, the person we assigned the email to, excuse me, the person we assigned the approval to. So I'll use his mail there. Don't only need it once. The subject, let's say approval request pending. And the body, the text of your choice. Please take action, etc, etc, etc. So, after Get Manager, the approval process will start, and at the same time, we're going to go into this delay action, and after one day, we're going to send an email. Now, we don't want this email to go, to, to be sent, if our approval has already happened. It's either been approved or rejected. So in order to accomplish that, what we will do is stop the flow after uh, the email is sent uh, indicating that the approval has either been approved or rejected. So below the approval email I will come down and add an action and I will search for terminate. And let's scroll down. Notice we can see control-terminate. Now I will stop the flow with success and that's all I need to do on this side. If it's rejected, let's do the same thing. Let's search for terminate. Once again, we have control dash terminate. We will terminate not with failure, but with success. Let's take a look at how our flow runs now. When an individual submits a request, the flow starts. We retrieve that individual's manager via the Get Manager action, and we are running an approval action and a delay at the same time. If after a day the uh, approval is still running, 
In other words, the approver hasn't approved or rejected uh, the request. They will receive a reminder email. If they have approved or rejected the item, the SharePoint list item will be updated. The individual that made the request will receive an email and the flow will terminate. Since the flow is terminating, the approver will not receive that reminder email. If you have questions on the technique I presented in this video, please comment. If you'd like to see more in the I didn't know I could do that with Office 365 series, please subscribe.